Right guys, welcome down to a now starting to get sunny Pinal Golf Course in Villamora. It has just stopped raining, which is absolutely awesome, and the blue sky is arriving. And we've got the, another... Pete's blue outfit hey, was a little bit too extreme. I, I think my blue outfit actually brought out the sun. <laughs> I think it was seeking. So what we're going to have is another match play match. Uh, over nine holes and then switch over to Rick Channel after nine. This is a par five to start. 470 meters. 470 meters <coughs> straight down. Did Rick. You played here how many years ago? I played here with college. 14 years ago. Uh, so college, college. That's 14 or 15 years ago. No, no, it's five years ago now. No, it's not. Because uh, guys, you all know I'm 21. <laughs> I know, and I'm looking fantastic for it. Awesome. Well, it's moving a wee bit, right, actually? Steady. A little bit of breeze up there. Yeah, it's just hurting off the left. <coughs> oh. <laughs> just hurting off the left. Trying to multitask. So Pete... Enough for the, you got it. So Pete literally got had the outfit that he's got on now. It looked good. But with the matching... What are you calling that, Blue? What do you call that blue? Uh, this is Swedish blue. So we had a Swedish blue jacket to match. <clears throat> I'll post, here's the picture. Hopefully the rain comes back out. We want to see that outfit. <laughs> I really don't. So that just, just, the wind just hit it a little bit off the left, but it's safe, just up the right side of the uh, hole. Yeah, I'm going to wave just slightly further left than you. At that That's bunker on the left is a good line, I think. That's at the bunk on the left. That's straight at the bunk on the left. Yeah. Two reasons why I didn't zoom there. One, I was holding the shot tracer, and two, Pete was in the way, but it's gone straight into that bunker just there. Yeah, if he's reached there, that I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So that's uh, Castle of Shields. I'm going to pad on the side here of the first hole at Villamora. Castle of Shields. Castle of Shields, thanks very much for. Uh, Forgive me that apartment, that villa. It's very nice. The villa more to do that. You're not giving much choice here, right? Eh? Kind of saying what you want. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking both head covers off. That's actually not real. It's not really mine yet. So Pete did find the bunker, left hand side. He aimed at it and he found it. Yeah, it was just a little, <coughs> little toey. That the um, that's the green down there. It's probably about how far did you zap it or not bother? Uh, it's like 230 away. 230 bunker. Garden it on the right. It's going with three without the bunker. Oh, I better get behind the ball for this. It's lying okay, and there's not a massive amount of danger down there, really. I think I've got enough to clear it over the lip. So. Yeah, enough manpower. Yeah. If I catch it well, you know what they say. It might go near the green. Oh, that's left. Why have I gone that way? Pete. Yeah, sorry, down. Yeah, it's okay. Drop oh, down yeah, underneath okay. the trees. I'm going to have that massive bunker to come over, but it's all right. Great connection, to be fair. <clears throat> As in. Could have got there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So Rick's ball is in a, well, on the face of it, a better position because he's not in the fairway bunker, but it's going to take some real manoeuvring to get it to the green. Now, when I played here last time, I'll give you this word of warning, mate. If it goes into these trees, sometimes it does not come down. Okay. They are dense. Okay. They are okay. really okay. dense. I'm gonna try and really slice one in there. <clears throat> Three wood, hanging Do lie, which makes it trickier, but. How far did you have in? 223. 223, so it's just a proper cutty, Big slicey cutty. one. Yeah. Okay. I cannot believe what I've just seen. <laughs> I cannot believe what I've just seen there. You see it down? In high right. Off the green. I cannot believe what I've just seen. From <laughs> that, he just went over that tree. That was a line I meant to take on, really. 
There's three one Literally no idea how you manage that. <laughs> None. I take it all back. No, that's mine. I take it all back. Mine. That's my pad. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, right, Pete has got a spot here. Oh my word, this is... He's found, the, the he's found the bare lie. It's funny when you get up there. When you say funny, do you mean? Oh, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> so he's going up and over this mound. And getting on to... Wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see what you mean. Yeah, I didn't leave myself an easy shot. From here, it goes that way. And down and then downhill here. Wow, I was off a, off a bare, tighty lie. I, I don't know if the option is almost to pitch it up here and then let it come round. I don't know how Pete's going to see this. He's, he's been a good wedge player at the moment and the sun is starting to shine through, which is good because it was raining on the way here. Oh, he's played that amazing. Grab your... Oh, wow! Peter Finch. Peter Finch. It's pretty impressive. So preferred lies on the fairways today because they have had some iffy weather passing through. But I have to say, I don't think they really need it, did they? Preferred lies. Looking good. It helps just sit the ball up a little bit. Oh yeah, it helps for us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they need it. So pit is time the green. Loads of room behind it though with a backstop. So relatively aggressive here. Sliding that bounce underneath. That looks pretty good. Very good. Get in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. very, very good. That just nipped past the left edge. Um, my appalling camera work didn't quite get it all. Oh, really? <laughs> it got where it landed, I think. I was too busy zooming in and looking with my own eyes. That's very good. You can uh, pop a spot on that. Uh... <laughs> no, I take it away. I take it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Hey, honestly, I'm that determined. That yeah, but this this is birdie. that was for the first birdie of the par five, so I feel Take like it away. Right, well I'll just see if I could. Yeah, you're gonna miss that one. Take it all back. <laughs> Mark it. <laughs> so for a half. Oh down. Ouch. I was looking good that as well. That would have been a, a class up and down. Just a bit of late swing. However, one down, and thank goodness, that's a par and a birdie. <laughs> we played a forward tee. So. <laughs> Second hole, par four, big dog leg to the right. Yeah. You need to cut it to corner, but it's too, too far to the right to cut the corner. Yeah, I think right. it's, yeah, I'd say so. And literally, honestly, I'm not joking that uh, oh, a couple of hoopoos flying past. My favourite bird in the world. Um, these trees will grab your ball and not let go, so. Avoid them. Yeah, there ain't no, there ain't no 90% rule here so with where this. that tree is in the middle? Yeah, I'd say aim at the. On that little fader? Yeah. Wind's probably helping with that fader a little bit. Yeah, it should help us manoeuvre it around a wee bit. Ooh, that's the necky one, that. See it down? Yeah, it's gone a long way right, but I've actually just discovered that tree in the middle of the fairway you were talking about. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, I can see it when you look, duck down. Depending on depending on what's happened, if you've got a clear, <coughs> it's going to be a bit bad, but if you've got a clear route through. Okay, that shot tracer currently is on 15 minutes. So it must have always been recorded from the first Fantastic. <laughs> Biggest shot tracer ever. Um, yeah, it's a, just, well, you won't, probably won't see it, the, the tree stump that's just left of that bunker down there. It looks like it's in the middle of the fairway. <clears throat> I might have accidentally missed that now. Same idea. Similar shot to mine, but better hit. Yeah, down in that corner, but I think both of them too much cut. 
Trees right, or at least rough right. Right. Depends how much parry mine on. It seems to go around a bit, but I don't know. I think it's alright. So we've got both our balls slightly right, but actually not too bad. Rick's definitely got a tougher approach because he can't go aerial. You're actually fine. Yeah, oh yeah, I think I'm alright. I'm not sure how high aloft I can get on it yet, but we'll see. Uh, what are you going in with? Chip and A time. Chip and A time. I'm 111 yards away. Okay. So we're going to feed it just off the shoulder of that bunker. Fingers crossed. That's what I'm seeing. Is that what I think that's what Rick's seen as well. So we've had some caffeine. Feeling a lot more awake this afternoon than I was oh, this good morning. Good night. Just in the left hand bunker. Tell you what though, mate, your bunker play today has been pretty pretty good. I so really, I really like how I started off it just kept going off. Guys, you gotta remember, always repair divots with sand. Even in the rough. <laughs> uh, 93. Ooh, seven. Point four, not bad. 97 to the flag just there. Yeah. Uh, so the wind's pretty much across. Crossing helping, I would say. Yeah, I think we're the one. That was that big tree. I mean, it's a beautiful looking tree, and I'm sure it's captured many a golf ball in its time. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that when I played it, the reason it stuck so much in the memory is I lost it. the ball. Of the yeah. Tree. You, well, you've seen to have put brought that out a couple of times now, so I'd imagine that's the case. <clears throat> Not today. Right. Let's get some birdies now. Here we go with a little gappy. I'm gonna start it left of the pin. Good if it's good for distance. Stop. A bit too much. A little bit too much there. Came out hot. Yeah, that, that struck it well. Maybe just a little bit fast out of that divot lie. Repair your divots, guys, even in the rough. Rick needs an up and a down to stay one up. <laughs> if I do a three put. Or one put. Or one put. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna land it just on the green, let it run down. Yeah, it's, security is like a land short. Yeah, it's gonna release down to the hole. It's downhill from where it is. That looks pretty good. That looks excellent. Oh my what you have played some awesome bunker shots today. Trick. I said to you didn't have before we went. Cool face up. Just feel like I've got the face like really up after the shot. Simple as that. Mm. And that has led to another gimme. You're not going to have to put today, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan today. I'm going to hit no green in regulation and try and shoot under par. <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you trying to do that in a, in a battle board thing? Oh, it's scramble test, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not doing it out here, man. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. The par fours, he's taking me three to get to the green. Don't mind the chip after. Sun is coming out. Here we go. It's about time. <clears throat> Probably falling off towards your right foot. I mean, we're talking, we're talking a touch. I'm not going to go outside the hole, I don't think. Okay. If anything, it should move slightly left to begin with, but hardly anything. So, going so we are really getting our head around aim point. We've not got it perfect yet, but we're really trying to get our head around it. Um, but it is a very, at the moment, confident building technique. It's just that <laughs> we need to hold more putts. <laughs> <clears throat> Should have read it a little bit further down. That here. kind of middle bit here. <clears throat> this bit that you read here. I'm feeling a tiny bit of right, but. Hey, listen, it's always easy when you said the pop. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm here, I'm feeling it a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. Bad form. <clears throat> okay, so. Tidy up for par. 
side right. Halve the hole. One that actually lit in. You know what? I was thinking that when it was on its way, I was like, oh, I pulled that slightly. And if you watch the videos from like the last day, burnt the edge so much time, but Pinal, all changed. The holes are bigger. <laughs> par five, third hole. And it's another par five. I think I've already said that. Uh, it's 550 yards, wind off the left helping slightly. Could this be? The second birdie on a par five in Portugal. <laughs> it's probably only the second birdie overall, isn't it? <laughs> we don't have many. No, I think I had, I had one this morning that I remember. <coughs> and I'll remember forever. Right, so left hand side of the fairway with a big rip. Pretty good, maybe just slightly right again. Sorry, Barry. See you down. Actually opens up by the looks of things. Yeah, possibly. So yeah, if the so if the camera work was slightly shaky there, guys, I did a slide tackle onto the uh shot the shot racer. Um yeah, it it seemed to bounce like it hit a fairway. Right, okay. Whether it stayed on that fairway and whether that was my fairway is yet to be quite answered, but Wide open these courses. <laughs> oh yeah, dead wide open. Guys, hit like if you think this hole's wide open right now. When you look down that tree lined No, it is wide open, that's what you need wide. to tell yourself. Wide. I've hit my t-shirt, it's wide open. Similar line to mine, you're making video in very easy. Yeah, I think you are right though, I think it does open up. It's just down on those lines there, there's no point in zooming in because we couldn't see through the forest of trees. Open, open. The curse of the tree is stricken, Peter Finch again. Yeah, it's a big, and this is what I mean, if it catches one, no chance. So we just had to drive down to my ball just because I'm sure I saw mine bouncing down there and it has, it's kind of another 40 or 50 yards down there, but I must have missed all the trees. Got lucky. Yeah, easy. <clears throat> easy 40, 50 pass, but I'm sure it'll, I'm sure the luck will come back round at one point. So there's the green down there where those two gentlemen are. Just shift to the left, shift to the right, whichever way you're going to go, because all I'm seeing is you're back here right now, Pete. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's just there. Um, by the way, that sand wedge we found on the first, I was right. It was a quite a tall senior gentleman. Absolutely. French guy, though, I didn't predict that. You didn't, you didn't see the Frenchness in there. I'm, I'm 280 wise, so I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to reach. No. So, rocket ship with the three wood. Overhanging branches, but that won't be a concern. It'll be well below that. Great flight. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, again. You see it? Hit the tree. No way. Hit the tree and spat it. No way. Straight down. I'd probably take it. I'd probably take it a good 70 yards off. I'll be honest, I was getting quite concerned it was going towards those guys. Well, I didn't think, <clears throat> I didn't think it went that far left, but... So it just spat down? It did. <laughs> Ouch. Well, you're going to have to take some off if you're going to go in with that. Rick's much, much closer. Good, yeah, what was it, 50 yards closer then? But got a slight problem because to cut it enough, I've got to take it quite a long way left past that tree and then oh, that... I couldn't cut it that much. So you're going to try and get over? The it's... sensible shot is a 7 iron over the tree. Yeah. Give myself a layup. Probably the most you could get over that is a 6 to be safe. Or... Realise it's YouTube. And... Just try and... The thing is, I feel like to get over that tree I've got to hit it really hard. And this is too much club to get over that tree. I think I can get over that tree with a 2 iron. <coughs> Over that tree with the two eye. I do answer. Okay, hold on to your horses, kids. It's sat up relatively nice. 
Drive away big high power fade. Looks amazing on camera now the sun's out as well. Oh my word. That is why this course takes no prisons. Straight into the tree, straight down. You will not get through these trees. I wasn't trying to let go. <laughs> why are you trying to prove me wrong? <laughs> okay, Rick's advanced his ball. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'll learn from it. One, eight, five, uh, but slightly downhill, slightly downwind. So, what are you going to go in with? Six. Six, yeah. Probably not a smasher. Just a nice smooth one, I think. Beautiful colours here. Drifting slightly. Yeah, it's safely aboard. So, just drifted off the right. Just didn't quite get it up. <laughs> I promise you this won't just be a vlog about looking at trees. I think that's the, that's the I, culprit. I no such <laughs> that's the culprit that spat. No respect for Peter's ball. Just spat it out. Oh, just where he sits. Pin is just there, how far have you got? Uh, 80 yards pretty much on the dot. 80 on the dot tap flag, and you can just maybe make out that it's sat on a on a top ledge. So I think left and big will maybe give you the best chance. Yeah. yeah. Short and right isn't an option. I'd agree with that, sir. I love the way you knit that. Don't spin too much. Don't spin too much. Don't spin too much. Very nice. Pretty good. I just needed a bit more that way. A little bit more that way, but I hit that well. <clears throat> that was really nice. Wedges are getting good. Wedges are getting good. So I've decided going back to all square. Because I've actually hit the green in regulation. <laughs> it yeah. must have just slipped back on. <laughs> this is the shot we've got coming up. Hold on, uh, just one second. I think everyone on Instagram will just appreciate this for First, one moment. Let me take a selfie. He's always doing this. Thing is, Rick's not even joking. I am always doing that <laughs> because it's so much fun. Uh, right. <clears throat> so, two chances for a birdie. Mine had that spin spin back to there. Rick's puts, well, a little bit more difficult than mine, I have to say. Coming up over the spine of the green, you imagine it's going to be thrown left. But that's what all the aim points are about, trying to figure out exactly how much. Feeling quite confident on it. The problem is, I've not had the speed of the, I don't know the speed of these greens. You don't need to. It's not to put yet. Up and over. Set up a long way to the right. Just drifted a little bit left. Yeah, that's pretty good. More speed. More speed. You can take that one away. Mightily generous of you, Pete. Well, you'll soon discover why. <laughs> on, on seven, eight, nine. Mightily generous. When it gets to seventh, eighth, ninth. Can you do that? What? Wipe all the leaves away with your putter. <laughs> no one's stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I've just gone two up. <clears throat> um, That's a joke. When it's friendly golf, it's friendly golf. Until it means something. It's a good read. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I just changed the microphone volume there. It seemed a bit high. Should be good now. So for birdie, take the match back to all square, ending part one in fashion.
Oh. Oh, we might see that one. I'm joking. Have that. Right. <coughs> one up. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. It's okay, though. It's all okay. One up. And thank goodness we've seen our first birdie on a par five. Really should have had two more then, but <laughs> ignore that. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, thank you to PNR for having us down here. Course is looking absolutely stunning. It's looking just like that, pretty much all the way around. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up and comment. Make sure you hop over and subscribe to Rick as well. And we will see you down here in part two.